Call of Duty's here, boys. Let's go. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, here we go, boys. This is Call of Duty Mobile. They finally released it as a beta. I, I, well, they haven't confirmed exactly how long the beta is going to go on for, so I would be as quick as possible. So in today's video, guy, uh, video guys, I'm going to basically tell you exactly how to get it, how to play it, what you need to download, and we're going to go through there. So what I'm going to do first is just show you the login screen. Okay, so I logged in with my Facebook, guys. Now, remember, logging in with your Facebook does not mean when the actual version comes out, all of your stuff will be wiped. So there's no point in grinding all levels now because I've got confirmation that everything is going to be wiped by the time the game actually comes out. Um, so anything you do now is purely for fun. Nothing's going to get saved. So here it is, guys. This is the lobby screen for Call of Duty Mobile. So... Uh, I'm going to start with a few things. You've obviously got settings at the top. Um, you've also got um, your players icon just next to it, your, your friends. You've got the letters and the system mail next to that. Um, and you've also got a help section as well next to that. Now, confirmed, guys, as you can see over there, we've got the zombies coming very soon. Battle Royale mode. This mode doesn't open currently. Please pay attention to opening announcement later. So there's going to be Battle Royale mode coming. It might not come when the actual game releases, but... It's there and it's going to come. Um, and obviously you've got multiplayer mode as well. Now, uh, behind me, guys, just down here, you've got a store button. Uh, my alt cable just came out. You've got a store button. So let's uh, let's kick it to the store. Here's uh, where you can buy stuff, basically. Uh, they cost CP points. Uh, purchase CPs in the store and use them to buy premium battle pass or other items in the store. Um, so it looks like all of these guys you have to buy with uh, COD points and they actually cost. I don't think there's a way you can actually earn those. So like I said, I think everything on there is going to be COD points. So um, let's see how much it is to purchase them. Yeah, it's not going to let you uh, purchase any COD points in the moment until the game releases. So we're not going to be able to find out how much they are, what prices they are. Um, what else? What we got? We got load at the bottom, bottom left. Just check out loadout. So, same as every Call of, Call of Duty Mobile multiplayer. Um, you got loadouts. You can unlock them as well for these um, levels. You got to get level 25 to unlock a second loadout. 52 for a third loadout. It must be quite quick to level up because they're quite high levels. Um, you can change your primary weapon here. I think the only available weapons we can use in the beta at the moment is the DLQ-33 sniper and the M4. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, so you've also got obviously your attachments as well. I've only got a red dot for now. So you've got your attachments. You've got your loadout knife as well. So I'm just giving you a brief overview of, apps of everything in the game basically guys. And obviously you've got your grenades on the right hand side. Um, the loadout is basically like every other COD Mobile. So it's, no it's nothing new for us COD Mobile fans. Uh, so bottom we've got clan. Obviously you can unlock clans at level 5. You can make your own clan guild sort of thing. Um... Which is pretty cool. And then obviously you've got your rank as well. So as you can see, this murky dude is already an Elite 2. Um, won't matter when the actual game comes out because all of his data gets wiped anyway. Um, so yeah, it shows your KD. It shows your kills per match, your win rate. Um, so there's leaderboards as well. It's everything we'd hoped for COD Mobile to be now. Can't stress enough as well. We've also got the Season Pass. At the top, we've got Season 1 Battle Pass. Uh, buy the Pass card. As you can see, it costs 800 for the Tier 1, 2000 for the Tier 2. This is the same as PUBG Mobile, Cyber Hunter. Um, again, we, we can't buy those yet because we don't have enough COD points. And we can't buy any COD points, so it's not going to let us buy that. But it is going to let us see it, so I'll have a little scroll through, see what kind of stuff there is in there. There's some... Uh, Pretty cool skins and stuff. You've got a fist bump action. You can unlock actions in there as well. You can unlock new uh, skins for your soldiers. Some more actions. You can get some free COD points by getting the upgraded one. Weapon skins. Let's see what's right at the end. See if there's anything amazing right at the end. Level 100. There's nothing. So after the end, guys, it looks like... So we've got a nice red action AK at the end, which is the final skin for that. And the final skin for the normal pass is the Dream Glacier Knife, which looks looks better than the... Uh, I'd rather have that than the red AK, to be honest. Um, and then after that, guys, it carries on and you can just collect cog points the more the more levels you get up. I don't know how long that goes on for. 
Let's have a quick look. Looks like it goes on for a while. You can collect 20. Does it go past level 200? It does. So it looks like it carries on going and going and going. Um, so obviously it's exactly the same as PUBG Mobile, guys. You can earn tiers and levels and you can buy extra stuff. You can get weapon cards. Um, I'll go into details of more sort of, uh, more sort of in-depth details on all the individual stuff um, in other videos. But, I mean, guys, you just want to see the game, don't you? So let's check it out. So a new player login rewards you can get on the left-hand side as well. Um, we don't need to do those because, obviously, again, we don't get to keep anything when we actually get the game. Um... And that's basically it, guys. So, that is the overview of the lobby screen. And now we're going to take a look into multiplayer. Okay, so this is multiplayer, guys. Now, remember, I'm using the Galaxy Tab S4. Now, the Galaxy Tab S4 has got a Snapdragon 8825. It's, it's a very high-powered um, sort of... Uh, it's a very high-powered tablet. As you can see in the bottom left right there, that's what I'm using. So... It's incredible. This it's got six gigabytes RAM, which is amazing. And um, yeah, I would uh, just highly recommend getting one because this game runs absolutely smooth. As you can see, guys, I got it on the ultra graphics. Um, we will we'll go into the settings really quickly before we uh, jump into a game. So again, you can change all the settings. You can change your sensitivity. You can have a gyroscope if you're a gyroscope player. Um, Battle Royale mode. It's got a separate settings uh, function, which is really cool. So it proves it is definitely coming. Um, normal controls. Now you got simple mode, which means um, all you got to do is move your target onto someone, and it's auto fire basically. So uh, you move your target onto someone, and, and auto fire shoot them. Now advanced mode, I'm going to be using. Um, guys, when you shoot with um, advanced mode, you don't actually shoot from the hip fire. I've noticed. So I think you can maybe change that. Um, ADS and hip. I'm not really sure how it all works out, but we do have a HDU as well, which I'm gonna sort of. Uh, move around and, and and see what that's all about um first off i'm going to move that up there because i'm going to be jumping into a game in a second um so yeah i'm not gonna again i'll go into more detail in future videos about all the in-depth stuff but you can change your ads and your hip fire for for certain guns um you've got system you've got low medium high very high frame rate i'm gonna have on very high and i'm gonna have my probably my graphics quality on medium i don't really want to have it like that so BR mode graphic style, um, standard, I think I'll stick to, auto recommended, um, and yeah, I think we'll leave it as that. So we can also change audio as well, you've got master volumes, you've got all the 3D sound, English, you can select Chinese or English. Sensitivity, um, I'm going to pick high sensitivity, I always pick high on certain games and then I always customise it myself, but again guys... I'll, uh, I'll release that in a new video, it's just going over everything just to show you what it's all about. Um, Vehicles, uh, drive mode, I'm going to stick to the left hand side, that probably looks like the easiest one out of all those three. Um, and uh, the game's just uh, logged out, so let's get back into it. Okay, so we're back in the game, we're on multiplayer. Um, you can change your loadouts and score streaks in the multiplayer uh, part just here. Uh, there's only three score streaks you can use, again everything is very limited. Um, let's just get into a random match and uh, let's pick a game mode. So. Let's go for a bit of search and destroy. Again, the uh, the game you can ch you can choose exactly what map you want. I think I'm going to go for uh, Nuke Town. That's the most popular map. And let's uh, let's try get into a game. Okay, again, guys, this is the beta, so I don't know how many players are going to be playing this. Um, so what I might do is, can you change it to random? Yeah, we're going to change that to random just so we can get into a game quickly. Um, it should load us in. There we go. Okay, so here we go. We've got some, uh, some actual players in this one now. So, uh, let's play our first game yes, of yes. Call of Duty. It, fe it just feels so smooth, guys, honestly. The, the, the feeling is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Got auto as well, you got auto run, but everything in my opinion is just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna just gonna change one thing before this game starts. Uh, if I can find the the HU. Move this just up to here. Let's confirm that. Okay, I'm gonna add that guys, this isn't gonna be my normal uh, HUD. Um I'm gonna change it. Um I'm gonna change it for the actual game, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm just basically just showing you what the game's all about, so here we go, let's let's get into some action. Online. 
Oh, we've got a UAV. Let's pop that out quickly. Some enemies over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm really... Uh, I'm not going to be as good now, guys, because my HUD is all over the place, but... Right, we're using the UV now, so there's someone over here. Okay, we got our first death. Oof, get wrecked. Uh, so again, guys, it just it feels perfectly smooth. I need to update my settings just to play a bit better, but it feels absolutely incredible. Someone shoot me from behind. There we go. Really enjoyable as well. I'm really liking it. Not sure why that dude was standing there with that grenade being there. Recon standing by. Repeat, UAV Pop a UAV recon out, see where they're coming by. from. UAV online. Hunter killer drone on standby. We have a hunter killer drone, so let's pop that out, use it on him. Hunter killer drone deployed. Okay, we got our first Predator missile, guys, so we'll use that, see if we can get some enemies. We have to double tap it twice to make it go faster, and there's two kills right there. So there we go. We're out of ammo! And we did run out of ammo, guys. I think the, uh, the target is 40, so we only need nine more kills to win the game. But again, guys, this is absolutely incredible. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. It's incredible. There's going to be some slight lag because I'm connected to the Indian servers, remember? That dude was trying to snipe me hard. And there we go, guys. That's our first victory uh, against players. So, absolutely amazing, guys. As you can see, it's a fun game. It's so smooth. The FPS is amazing. I mean, this is on Indian servers as well. So, I expected to lag even more. But it was absolutely incredible. We came number one with 1905. It's just an enjoyable game. So, this is the victory screen, guys. We won 40 to, uh, to 14. Um... And yeah, we got to level up from it. We got do we get air drops when you level up? So you obviously gain XP just there. You can collect these cards as well, which I think can gain you extra XP as well, like double XP cards. Um, yeah, I thought that was uh, that was absolutely amazing. So this game, you can tell, is going to be smooth. It's going to be perfect when it re gets released globally. But now, guys, um, if you come with me this far in the video, I'm going to show you exactly how to download this now, um, and we're going to go through everything. So. The first step you need to do, guys, is there is a link in my description that shows um, that shows your uh, the download link. Now it shows the APK and the OBB file. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download both of those files, that, which is in a link in my description. So what I do is show you uh, where I've put those files. So. What you need to do, guys, is you need to go into your files. Once you've downloaded both the APK and the OBB file, go into your files, click on internal storage. Now, remember, guys, this is only for APK. Uh, this is only for Android, sorry, not iOS. So you're only going to be able to do this on Android for now. I'm not sure when the iOS is coming out, um, but this is only for Android. So once you've got those two files downloaded, go into your internal storage, click on Android, 
click on obb and create a folder called com.activision.callofduty.shooter okay once you've down once you've created that folder in there the uh the obb file that you downloaded you need to unzip that so you need to click on it and unzip it go into your files find it in your downloads which is right there at the top click on it and then unzip it i've already unzipped it so i can't do it again now go back to your internal store uh, sorry once you've unzipped it move the unzipped file into android obb and into that folder and there it is main 199.co shooter.obb so that's the obb file there with the apk file just click on that hit install and that will download the actual icon um apk onto your uh onto your tablet or phone just like you can see over there now um you do need um a vpn guys now if you don't know what a vpn is it basically uh makes you connect to a different country uh country server now i pay for my own called winscribe it costs eight eight dollars 49 a month um and i'm connected to an indian server now um, feel free to download that one, but again, it, it does cost $8.49. I don't know if there's a free trial you'll be able to do, but if not, guys, just search around. You can find some free um, uh, VPNs wherever you like anyway. Um, once you've done that, I think that is basically... Okay, so once you've done all of that, guys, um, simply load up Call of Duty and uh, it should start up for you. If you're having any problems, guys, I've also included the official Discord Call of Duty uh, server in the description. So go in the description to find out everything about how to download it, how to play it. Go to the official Discord because that's where they release all of the announcements uh, and they give all the details on how to do all of this. So if you need any help, go into there and join that server. Um... And enjoy Call of Duty, guys. That's basically it. There's not a lot else I can show you. I'm going to go into more details in future videos about everything. But this was just an overview to show you the game's out in beta. There isn't a date when the beta is going to close. Probably going to be Monday. What is it? Thursday now. So, yeah, it's probably going to be Monday. So, it's going to be like four or five days like every beta. So, get downloading. Get playing it now. Obviously, hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on if you, uh, if you want to hear about all the latest info on Call of Duty. Hit a like and enjoy. Yeah, boy. Let me know in the comments exactly what you think as well. Let's go. Gila.